You know, this is absolutely incredible. Every day we get bombarded by what seems to be the media narrative at that particular point in time, what they want us to know. And it's the little stories that really matter to people that slip through the cracks that we don't get to hear about. And that's one of the things that I want to try and concentrate on for the most part is bringing to you those things that may get hidden day to day. And every now and again, somebody sticks their head above the parapet and says thank you. And it really shows to me that this new media stuff where a guy with a phone sitting in his taxi bringing you news and headlines actually does work. <laughs> How do everyone welcome back to the channel for a Saturday you can see out my window out there it's uh, really quite sunny outside and beautiful and uh, yeah it's gonna be a nice day when I'm done recording I'm heading to the garden and I'm not coming out until later when I do the live at nine o'clock well 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 new media as I said in the introduction to this video what I like to do, obviously I will report on the current events and what's going on at the time, what we need to know about. But there's also the little things that we don't get to find out because we get swamped by Putin and Partygate and fuel prices and Boris speaking Russian and all, all the rest of it. And we miss out on the little stuff. If you recall, I did a, a video uh, ooh, a couple of days ago, and I did another one about a week or two before that, about this young girl, Angel, who actually uh, was kidnapped by her ex-boyfriend and uh, ended up falling out of the van while it was travelling at 60 miles an hour and ended up with severe life-threatening injuries. Disgusting by any stretch of the imagination. And her boyfriend obviously got sentenced and everything else and that is going to the court of appeal to see about getting it lengthened and i'm i'm in complete support of that well the amazing thing that happened was this i don't obviously expect you to read the print on the video because it's quite small but that uh, can be found on the community's page on the actual channel and it's a message from angel's aunt actually thanking us for uh, bringing exposure to this story and the fact that they collectively as a family want to put this piece of work's face on as many media outlets as possible and that story got out to you and it made you aware of it and she responded because she found out uh, what was going on another example i can give you there's a young lad called brooklyn peakman who I did a video on ooh, weeks ago now, who was at death's door. They were about to switch his uh, life support machine off. He suddenly woke up and Brooklyn himself actually joined one of the live chats not so long ago to say, you know, how did you find out about me? What's all this about kind of thing? So new media is working. I can't stress it enough. We're getting to people. We're getting the stories out there. And we're getting opinions out there from just normal people like me who just want a bit of truth and integrity in everyday life. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Let me know what you think about it. But uh, it touched me when these people come come here and say, you know, thank you for getting this out and thank you for what you're doing. And it certainly gives me the impetus to carry on as well as, of course, all of you and the support you give on a daily basis too. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you soon with another. Toodaloo.